Hey everybody, welcome back to RPG Imaginings. I have a unboxing for you in my FLGS, and after I do this unboxing, we're going to go ahead and uh, I shot some footage of the outside of the store and the inside of the store, and so this is where I most regularly game, uh, most weekends, and so... Um, for those of you who are aware of Chaosium's packing policies, you could probably guess what this is, because this is their most recently released product, and we have... I just want to make sure I yoink this out without the packing slip. Haha! -ha. Did it successfully? We have Rivers of London, and this is one that we have been anticipating for quite some time. I'm planning on doing a... If I can just figure out how to open this up one-handed. Zach, you want to help me and open this up? I'll just do hand stuff while Zach is doing that. Um, so, uh, yeah, so Rivers of London, uh, I'm planning on doing a series of videos for this book because it is a really good example of a new way of looking at basic role-playing games through Chaosium. In my first video with the PDF, I talked about how basically this is essentially, in my opinion, basic role-playing light, and there are lots of things that I like about what Paul Fricker and Lynn Hardy and the other authors did uh, with the system. And here we have beautiful blue end pages, and I sort of like the, the water flowing nature of this. Uh, and that's, you know, connected to the actual books. Uh, I have now read the first book in the Rivers of London series, um, and I super enjoyed it. I, I liked it a lot more than a lot of other urban fantasy that I've read. Uh, many of you have likely probably read um, urban fantasy of a particular persuasion from a well-known author, but I actually prefer what, uh, what I read uh, um, in uh, Rivers of London. And so this is a full featured role playing book that contains everything that you need to play. It has GM section. It has uh, everything players need to build characters. One of the videos that I will do will be to build a character for Rivers of London. I'm also planning on doing a uh, magic system video for this book and uh, check it out we have two ribbons with this book yeah that's something that chaosium has been doing more recently layout is beautiful art is beautiful there is a uh, uh, adventure a solo adventure at the beginning and uh, there are also some uh, there's also a scenario in the book, additional rules that are optional, and so you start with BRP light, but if you want to do BRP a little bit more crunchy, you can do that, and uh, I am just so excited to be able to showcase this. So here's our character sheet for Rivers of London, and it comes in different flavors here. Um, and uh, so this is something that we will do over the course of seven videos, I should pro or several videos, I should say. I also just want to uh, thank Michael O'Brien from Chaosium for sending me this copy. So this is a review copy that I'm going to be using to make all these videos with. And uh, there is the author of the series, Ben Aronovich, and he was super excited to have his books made into a role-playing game, one of the dreams of his, and I, I can understand it. And uh, so, yeah, there's our team that uh, worked on Rivers of London, and I appreciate the clear credit that is being given here. I believe that authors and layout artists and artists and everybody involved in a role-playing game should get details of their work to help them out. And so this is probably the best spread of authors I have ever seen in a role-playing game at the end. And so, yeah. So, there it is. Oh, whoa, whoa. What do we got here? Oh, oh. Comes with a map. Dun, 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 dun. We love role playing games that come with maps. And many of you on social media may have noticed early versions of this map being posted on Twitter. Well, here's the final version of the map it's uh, central London with all major. Uh, locations labeled and so that's a nice little ad to help the world come alive because movement within London would be a huge aspect of a Rivers of London game and so yeah look for more videos on Rivers of London this is super exciting it's a role-playing game that I've been following since it was announced and uh, we're gonna have a lot of cool videos coming up uh, now I'm gonna switch over you're gonna see some front uh, storefront footage of 
uh, game shop, as well as a little tour of the store if you want to stick around. Have a good day. Hey everybody, here we are at my local game shop called literally The Game Shop in Omaha, Nebraska and we are at the uh, northwest location of a store and so I'm going to give you a short little tour of the store uh, and uh, if you stuck around after the unboxing I appreciate that and so here's a little bonus at the end. So here we are inside the store and I'm going to do my best as per always not to get any faces or anything in the uh, frame to respect people's privacy. And uh, the game shop really started uh, here in Omaha uh, at the Bellevue store, which is our southeast store. And its main focus, as you can see, was largely board games from the beginning, although there has always been a presence of all gaming that has been uh, here at the game shop. And so we're really lucky in Omaha to have a lot of game stores. I think, you know, game stores per capita, we're, we're in really awesome shape. Here is the role-playing section of the store. And they have a great selection, including DCC and uh, many games that you would not find in a uh, typical concentrated, shall we say, FLGS. And so, yes, you'll see D&D, you'll see Pathfinder, um, but you'll also see lots of other different types of games. And so, shout out to Chaosium, since this is being attached to a Chaosium release. Here is the uh, Call of Cthulhu section. Um, and so for scene in the wild there you go and also classic games tons of miniatures lots of paint supplies lots of dice yeah. so a lot of really interesting products here and so thanks for watching